my channel so today i'm going to be doing a come shop with me at primark and a primark haul i was going to do this as two separate videos but i feel like i've done quite a few hauls and quite a few come shop with me so lately that i don't want to spam my channel out with them plus these two are both short because i've only got a few things and i wasn't there for too long and as well as that this is me visiting a different primark so i did a come shop with me not too long ago at all and i don't want to like just showing you guys the same stuff all over again so i'm just showing you the new things that i've seen in the different store so it's a bit of a shorter video so that's why i've got both in one today but without further ado let's get on with this video and i hope you enjoy so i'm wearing this shawl thing today and it's actually kind of like a massive massive scarf but i was actually taking it in the car I just used as a blanket and to cover my things up with when i left the car but i've ended up just wearing it all day because it's really cozy it's really warm and it just kind of feels like i've got wings and i think it's kind of pretty cool so this is what I saw as soon as I got into Primark and I noticed that there's a lot of blazers and it was quite getting into the autumn season. So I really love these jumper dresses. I thought they were so cute and there's quite a few bodysuits as well. They had a knitted skirt there which I wasn't a massive fan of but this bag I loved. I thought it was so cute and so so different and it wasn't too expensive either so I thought it was super cute. And then I actually ended up buying this piece, which is a Good Vibes only bodysuit. And I thought it was super cute and it felt super soft too. You can see the bag up there again. And there were some scarves here, very, very similar to the one that I was wearing. And they were so cheap and they are so warm and cosy too. You can then see these coats. This is the coat that I was absolutely in love with. I need a new coat so desperately. This was only £25. And it looked to be in such good quality, such good condition and such good material. They looked so nice. I had them in several colours too. Do you think the white is definitely my favourite? Although I think it'll get muckier faster because of my dogs. But they do come in so many different colours that are really, really nice. And the insides are so soft. They also have so many different designs of coats right now. But it mainly does seem to be the puffy ones and the blazer ones like those there. I love this plum coloured one. I thought it was super, super nice was £35. I don't think blazers are really my thing, but I've not really tried them that much, but they are super, super cute. I then moved on to this section, and this is really nice. I thought it was so, so autumnal. I love the burgundy scarf, apart from I wasn't a massive fan of the material. It was only £6, which wasn't too bad, but the material was just too much for me. Again, moving on to more blazers. They were literally just everywhere. I just had to show you them all, but these are definitely new in stock. And then... I moved on to leggings, which you cannot go wrong with leggings, especially when it's coming into autumn time. They are so, so cheap and range from £2.50 to £5. I also noticed there was a lot of things with like frilly collars and a lot of sleeveless tops at the moment as well. The frilly ones aren't my favourite, but I don't mind the sleeveless ones. They also had some new, unique designs. So I've noticed most Primarchs do have different stock into each other. This is very similar to the last Primark I went to, as in it has some similar tops, but some of them were new too, so I found it quite interesting. So you can see here, that's a Riverdale top that I saw before, but the shorts are different. You can also see here that there's different ones here, so you've got the Stitch one, the Mickey and Minnie one. I ended up picking a couple up. I was so desperate for this hoodie, but I haven't bought it yet. But I probably will end up doing it soon, because I'm absolutely in love. These joggers I actually quite liked as well. There's a full Billy Eilish sector. And I was so obsessed. I thought it was so cool. They do have an extended Disney range at this one as well, which I thought was really nice. So in this trip, I noticed they really, really expanded their merchandising section. So like Harry Potter, Mickey Mouse, all that kind of thing. I love these sets of PJs here. But with Stranger Things, that's one of the things that I've noticed the most is Stranger Things is just blown up completely it's not something i've managed to get into yet but with the amount of merch i really want to enjoy it and i'm gonna really try so i love this harley one as well i think that was so so cute and then there was a big pj stand and it just had loads of different disney pjs i was in love with the hollow blue one and i just thought they were so so cute and there's such a big variety which is a nice change as well i had to capture these for you guys these are basically high socks with like 3d faces on them so they've got like the baby yoda and stitch i was obsessed it was so cute so then i moved on to kind of more homeware loungewear and these are the throws they are so soft they're four pound each they're only small but they are so so nice you're not going to get them for four pound each anywhere else so i saw these straws which i thought looked really really cool and they do come with a straw holder i just don't know if they taste weird with them being metal I'm also absolutely obsessed with that lunchbox. I don't know why, but the lunchboxes um, at Primark just always really, really attract me. So this is one of my favourite sections. This is the more eco-friendly section. So half of these products, well, I think most, if not all of them, are made out of bamboo. 
and then the clothes behind me were all made out of like recycled materials. I think this is so so cool because it's really helping the environment and they've got some really good bits here too. I was going to buy some bits from here but I've already got quite a lot of their collection there wasn't anything I needed. So again in the home section I'm in love with those baskets I don't know how I haven't bought one yet but I thought this was the cutest thing ever. It's an LED colour changing hedgehog like that's so cute. Then this is a section I definitely have never seen before so I don't know if it's new or if it's just because it's a different Primark. There's lots of different fragrances and I thought it was so cool. So this was a bodysuit that I nearly, nearly bought and the same one in a light baby pink colour. And then they also had like a peachy shade too and they kind of had a mix in with all the PJs. These PJs looked so, so soft. That's such a cute little dog. It kind of just reminds me of the Dogs Trust advert. And then they had a blue polar bear one, which I have seen before, but I just thought it was so cute. And they're only £8 a pair, which is so good. And they've just got such a wide variety as well, like these ones here, which are the penguin ones. I then moved on and saw all the dog outfits. I'm not a big ambassador for putting your dog in clothes. I'm not a big fan of it. My dogs don't like it, so I don't do it. I know some dogs do, but they're really cute still. These hot water bottles were adorable. My mum loves sloths, so I so wanted to buy one of these. And they were just so, so cute. I then moved on to one of the best parts of Primark, which is the Harry Potter section. That is a new flask I've never seen before. They also have a superhero section, which is cute. And then again, more Disney stuff. You cannot go wrong. I love these microfiber cloths. I've never seen them before, ever. And the Riverdale section was really, really cute. It's the exact same section as in the other store. So I didn't really go into too much detail in this, but it was still pretty cool. This is the phone cases, headphones, more Harry Potter stuff, and I'm just so obsessed. The Harry Potter section here was massive, and I loved it so much. This was also really different, which is like a load of like soft toys as well, which I thought was pretty cute, and it kind of like is a cheap version of instead of going to the Disney store. So I was so close to buying that Stitch Christmas case. It was so, so cute. And again, the Riverdale one is so cool. I just love the pop sockets on the back of, as well because I think they look really, really nice. I just don't want to ruin my phone. They do have a really, really big variety too. This is something else I noticed that was really, really in fashion at the moment at Primark with these bottoms. These look so nice. I really, really want a pair of the white and black ones. But I decided not to do too much shopping today. Again, even more blazers. They were just so popular. I also saw these as well, which were a variety on the ones that I saw in Huddersfield. And they have a Christmas section, so I had to include a little snippet of that too for you guys. I also love carousels like these, well, kind of stalls. I just think they make outfits look a lot more realistic and really inspire me with kind of outfit choices. More Christmas PJs. These were so, so soft and I love the theme of them. They just seem so classy. And then I saw these Christmas jumpers, which made me kind of sad because I can't really wear them at work at the moment, but they're still pretty uh, cute. I'm going to get on with the haul part now for you guys. So as I said before, I really didn't buy much at all, but I bought this pair of leggings here because I found that I'm kind of running out of pairs of leggings now. They're all getting holes in or getting kind of marks on them or getting outstretched and they're just no good anymore. So I wanted to buy some more. This is in size extra small, which is six to eight UK. And they were £3 for a pair, which you really can't go wrong with. These are quite soft and they just feel really, really good material. They had so many different pairs of leggings that I found it so difficult to choose because there was so, so many different ones. Different sizes, so many styles, so many prices. Uh, so I just kind of went in the middle. I've never really tried this specific one before. Uh, I think it'd be a lot more helpful if they actually had like names and styles on them so you knew what you were buying. But I do really like these and I actually bought two pairs of these. So I this one here and this one here and they're both exactly the same size, exactly the same price, everything. I just wanted a couple of pairs to keep me going for a little bit. I bought this bodysuit which is super, super cute and it says good vibes only and it has a little heart. And I really like the style of this. I love the font of the text and I also like the actual material itself. It's not just a grey, it's kind of got different colours in it. I think it looks really cool. It's long sleeves as well which is great because we are now coming into autumn winter time. So you're gonna need warm clothes. So I really do like this. I really like the neckline of it as well. I think it's kind of different. And as you can see the bodysuit part on the bottom, it looks really, really comfy, really nice. I bought this in a size extra small again, and it was six pounds altogether, which isn't too bad. It says gray mile on the back. I'm not really sure what that means. It's just a gray bodysuit to me, but I think it looks super, super cute. So the last time I shopped at Primark, I got an underwear set, which I did show you guys, and I was totally obsessed. 
So I went back again and got the exact same ones just in different colours because I thought they were super, super cute and they're really, really comfy as well. So this is what they look like. And I actually got a matching set this time too. So I'm super excited to try these out because they're so, so comfy and I think they look really, really cute as well. So as I said, this is an extremely, extremely short haul because I only got about five things. But this is the last thing that I actually bought and this is a stitch jumper. I bought one very, very similar to this on the same line. It was a Bambi one and I'm obsessed with it. It's the softest thing ever. It's not too heavy, but it actually still keeps your ass warm. This is what it looks like. It's got three coloured stitches and the, best, the rest of them are black outlines of stitch and I think they're just so, so cute. They're pretty detailed. I got this in a size extra small again and it was £8 and I was really tempted to buy it and then when I saw it was £8 I just kind of had to because eight pounds for a jumper is really good and it's such good quality it's from the disney range and on the inside if you can see it is so so fluffy it looks so nice and so cozy i also just love the whole design of it like i like how the ends of the sleeve match the bottom of the jumper with the kind of ribbed cord effect and it just looks so nice and gray and black are like my go-to colors for hoodies and jumpers i don't know why i think it's not just hoodies and jumpers i've got a gray scarf a gray top right now i think it's just my go-to for everything so i do really really love this and it's kind of a bit oversized as well even though i've got it an extra small it is still because you can see without my scarf this is where my shoulders go to and this is where the jumper goes to on me so this is where the shoulders end so it is quite oversized on me i think it's obviously a good thing because it makes it a lot more comfy so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video it's a bit of a different one having two in one but i thought it'd work better and be a better content for you guys so do let me know if you like this way of filming and i may do it more in the future but for now guys that is everything i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all next time bye guys